Categories and subcategories are the basic organizational components of your product catalog. Almost any company's inventory can be split into categories, such as music genres for a record store, or dresses, pants, and tops for a clothing store. In this video, we'll walk you through creating a number of categories and subcategories for a fictional art store, how to put products into those categories, and then how to display those categories in a catalog. If you haven't already watched our installation and setup video, you can watch it now so that you know the plugin basics and have a catalog already set up. We'll start by creating our categories. The most important step is coming up with categories that are narrow enough to be useful, but broad enough that the number of categories doesn't get out of hand. A good number of categories to aim for would be between 5 and 15. For our art store, we're going to create five categories, prints, photos, paintings, frames, and mountings. To create a category, start by going to the Categories tab. For each category, we're going to enter its name followed by a short description so that other users in our store know what should go into that category. Go ahead and enter that information now. Once you've finished entering your categories, head to the Subcategories tab. Subcategories are a way to further organize your product catalog. We're going to create three subcategories for our Photos category now. Black and White, Grayscale, and Color. Again, create them by entering their names as well as a description to help keep everyone on the same page. Once you've created those categories and subcategories, head to the Products tab. We can either assign products that have already been created to our newly created categories, or we can create new products and assign them to the categories. We'll create a new product entering its name, slug, price, description, and uploading an image for it. The next step is to assign it to a category. We're going to assign this one to the Photos category. Once it is selected, you can see that the Subcategory drop-down box becomes populated with the options we created earlier, so that now we can assign our product to a subcategory. Our last step is to assign our Photos category to our catalog. Go to the Catalogs tab and select the catalog that you've created. Scrolling down the page, you can see that there are now a number of categories available to be inserted into the catalog. We're going to insert our Photos category by clicking on its checkbox and then hitting the Add to Catalog button. Once it's added, we're going to move it to the top of the catalog by dragging and dropping it above any products that are already inserted. The last step is to refresh your catalog page on the front end to double check that everything went smoothly. We can see the category label, any items in the category should now be displayed, and the category is now displayed in the sidebar for sorting purposes. Check out the plugin page on our website for additional information or subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date with future tutorials for this and other plugins.